In this video, we will show you how to file a markup request using the iTIC Lite program. At the bottom of the email you have received from iTIC Lite will be a link. Clicking that link will bring you to the iTIC Lite user information screen. Here you will enter your contact information. You will need to answer all of the questions on this page before continuing. Be as accurate and clear as possible. If the locators have any questions, they will use this information to attempt to contact you. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will bring you to the Excavation Information screen. For the first question, what kind of digging are you doing, enter the purpose of the excavation. You can use the keyword auto search function here. For instance, entering a word like install will bring up a list of potential matches. The next six questions refer to the actual method of excavation. Use the drop-down menus to select Y or Yes for any that apply, and N or No for any that do not. You will need to select Yes for at least one of these six questions. If you have already outlined your work area in white paint, or are willing to, select Yes for the final question on this page. Otherwise, select No. When you are ready, Click Next Step. This will bring you to the Location Information screen. On this screen, you will describe the physical location where the excavation will take place. Using the drop-down menus, select the county and the city or township where you will be excavating. If you are working outside city limits, you must select the township you will be working in, and not the nearest city. Next, enter the number portion of the address where the work will take place. If there is no address, enter a zero in this field. You will then need to enter the name of the road the work will take place on. You can use the auto search function in this field as well. For the nearest cross street, enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the work will take place. Please keep in mind that this will not necessarily be a major road. The next field is for marking instructions. Here you will describe the physical area where the excavation will take place. Be as detailed as possible. It is extremely important that you describe the entire excavation area, and not just where you believe lines may be located. If you have GPS latitude and longitude information, you may enter it in their respective fields. GPS information is not required. If you are working outside city limits, you must provide a section number and quarter for the work area. If you are working within city limits, leave this field blank. When you are ready, click Next Step. If the system finds a match for the address you have entered, you will be presented with the iTIG Lite mapping screen. The mapping section provides a number of options for mapping out your own work area. The map will initially display a polygon where the work site is believed to be located. This polygon can be modified in two ways. The Change Shape button will cycle through a list of predetermined polygons based on the address location. The Change Size button will expand and contract the current polygon. You may also cycle through different map views to ensure your polygon is encompassing your entire work area. If you cannot be certain the computer-generated polygon is encompassing your work area entirely, you may choose to have an operator in the call center complete the mapping by clicking Review Ticket. However, if you are certain your polygon completely encompasses your work area, you may choose to submit the ticket directly to the utilities by clicking Submit Ticket. This will bring you to the list of utilities that will be notified as a result of your request. This screen is the last opportunity you will have to make any changes to your request. If you need to make changes, 
click the Go Back button. Otherwise, clicking the Next Step button now will submit the ticket directly to the utilities listed on the screen. When you see the screen, your markup request has been submitted to the utilities. Make sure to write down your ticket number and hold on to it for later reference. Thank you.